Welcome. Today I'm going to look at how I use Notion for content planning. So this isn't like an overall review of Notion or an in-depth look at Notion. It's how I use Notion for one particular thing. So this is my Notion space, as you can see up here, you know, notion.so slash captain time. Call it Garland space. And really what Notion is, it's a combination of a database plus a wiki plus a task management system. Uh, it's got a lot of different things all kind of built in. You can almost create little websites in it. So what you can do is you can create pages for each of the things you're doing. So in this case I've got tasks and video content planning, my training library, my contact management software, CRM, uh, ideas for forum posts. Uh, you can have little open up things like, you know, the different projects I'm working on, my book writing project, my coaching program, my vlogging, my workshops, my marketing projects, and, and etc. So you can basically have sections for each. And I even have a section over here for personal, like planning my Christmas party, you know, some goals, some home tasks, travel plans, and the like. But today we're going to look at video content planning. So what I've done here is I just capture over in this column any idea I have that could possibly be an idea for doing a video or a vlog on it uh, or a presentation or something like that. I have a process that I go through when I'm working with, uh, with a particular topic or a video idea. So I put that process over here with a series of check boxes so it makes it very easy for me to see at a glance what was I working on and what stage was I at. So this is a, a video I've just uh, uploaded for a day without time challenge. So I started by doing some keyword research. Uh, worked out what the, should the SEO title be for search engine optimization. Uh, added it to my tracking to see if I managed to ever rank well in Google for that particular keyword. Written, that means I've written the presentation, recorded the presentation, then edited the presentation, and currently have it up to YouTube. And now I have my virtual assistant creating a blog post from it, and then I'll send it out to my email list, I'll promote it on social, and some other websites I do. So as I go through, it's really easy. When I'm going to go, okay, it's my video content planning time, I can see at a glance and say, okay, blog, it's time to get it on the blog I have to get that out to my virtual assistant or if that's done then I would say okay it's time to send this out to my list. So very simple, very easy to do, very easy to follow. I can drag and drop these so if I think that uh, you know this one should be higher up than that one then I can easily just you know drag and drop them and move around. So it's a great way to be able to see at a glance what's going on with my video content planning, where I'm at. I never get lost. I can also add comments if I want to add a comment here. So if I open up this day without time challenge, I can say, you know, comment could be uploaded to YouTube. Or I could say, you know, assign to VA for blog post. And then that way I can see at a glance everything that, that's happening with this particular, you know, everything that's happening with this particular uh, content that I'm working on. You can see whenever I add that there. So that's just at a glance. Just wanted to show you how I'm doing that. And so it would give you kind of a feel for, for ways you might be able to use this for yourself. Thanks for listening.